The Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by CNMC, Syngenta Canada, and the Alberta Wheat Commission. Peter Johnson at WheatPeat, realagriculture.com, and oh my gosh, it's spring of 2023 here in Ontario. I'm in a wheat field, an incredible wheat field. The wheat crop looks amazing. We've got big acres. People are actually thinking that the 2023 crop looks as good this spring as the 2021 crop looked, and that crop was so thick, you couldn't walk through it. So wait a minute, I couldn't walk through it. Well, I want really big yields. How do we get really big yields? You know, we go to the Great Lakes Yen, and one of the strongest correlations, now I gotta be really careful, because correlation does not mean causation, but when you look at every big yield grower in the competition, they have big head counts. Lots of heads per square foot, per square meter, per square whatever you want to use. So the big question is, do we have those big head counts, which comes down to stem counts, and if we do, how do we assess it right now, because right now is when we are making those management decisions. So really cool, CNM Seeds has a stand assessment calculator to help you do that, and I'm gonna ask Rob McLaughlin, CNM Seeds, to come in and walk us through how we use that stand assessment calculator. So, wow, Rob, the stand assessment calculator, the amount of work you've put into that is amazing. And finally, we can figure out, do we have enough heads per square foot, per square meter? Like, do we have big wheat yields? And then we can make management decisions. So tell me, how do I work the stand assessment calculator? Walk me through the mechanics of it. Yeah, so what we're really basing our numbers off is a, is a, is a number from Phil Needham. He was targeting 500 to 600 heads per square yard and trying to decide if that, above that's going to be lodging, of course. Uh, below that, we need to do some work to get some more heads. Yep. And uh, that number has become really important to us. We translated back, that back to square feet and built our stand assessment calculator off over a few works, uh, years of work with that. Okay, so first off, heads per square yard, what the heck is that? Yeah. Stinking. <laughs> but anyway, it, but head, heads per square, like we're not going to count a square f yard. So we're gonna do it in feet, right? That's so right. let's walk through the, like, you're gonna take that, we're gonna measure how much row, uh, like right. how, how do we walk through that? Number one, we have to know uh, what our, our planning width is, our row width. So uh, we take that row width, you, most plots in the province are seven and a half inch rows, yep, right? Absolutely, what about if I'm broadcast? Broadcast? Well, unfortunately, you have to go back to the old way and count inside this thing. Yep. Let's throw that out the window. <laughs> well, if you're broadcast, at least we have a tool, right? For one square foot. <laughs> That's so right. I'm seven and a half inch rows. How, That's right. How much row do I measure? You're going to measure one foot of row. Okay. Yeah. So what I use, I'll go out there with my trusty shovel. I know that's uh, 11 and three quarters inches. So I need to add a quarter inch to a that. A wee bit. A wee bit. That's right. Just a wee bit. Yep. You use your... Oh, wait, this is another way. Yep. Oftentimes I'll use my foot. My foot's actually exactly 12 inches. So yep. that's okay. But to be exact, you know, you can't, it's pretty, everybody has one of these, right? That's so right. if you don't have a tool, this works. Exactly. Exactly. So we go out there and our first job is to find out how many plants per foot of row we have. So I, that that's pretty easy in a thin stand. How would you do it in this stand? Like this is so thick. How are you going to know how many plants? Yep. This is the hardest one. We're actually going to have to get down there. We're going to be starting to pull apart those plants, and it's a it's a pretty arduous job. It's a, it's a lot of work, and you got to be careful to to get those counts right. I've been in fields before. We've had some tremendously different numbers from different agronomists. So, yeah. And so one of the ways you could do, if it, I mean, it's more work. And once you get onto it, I think like you probably don't have to dig them up because no. you've done it enough. I think I've done it enough. But the first few, just take that one foot of row, dig them up, pull them apart, and, and find out actually how many plants that That's you right. have. That's and right. then once you have many plants, what are you looking for then? Once you yeah. get to these number of plants. So after that, our second number to find out how many heads per square foot we have is to decide how many of these tillers we have. We have, uh, on this particular plant, we have, what do we count? I think five? That, I think that one's five. Yep. Uh, this one for sure is so five. We're, we're digging up a plant and we're pulling those apart and we're trying to decide each plant how many tillers that has because that's our, our number our number two uh, number we have to input into the calculator. So, so in that stand assessment calculator we need seeds per foot of row, we need 
or, or plants rather, plants per foot of row, and then tillers per plant, yep. and that's going to give us our number. So, so just wait a minute though, because as we go through this, I'm looking at this plant, and I, if I count every tiller on this plant, I, I'm, I'm gonna get to, I don't know, 10, 11, 12? Do I yeah. count every tiller? Yeah, well that's probably not, and that's gonna be a little bit up to what you think is going to survive. There's gonna be a few little tillers on there. They're gonna cannibalize themselves. So we're probably not gonna be able to maintain more than five in most situations. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I think actually so one of the ways I look at it is is the thickness of the stem compared yep. to the other stems. And if you don't have at least two leaves on a tiller, yep. in a stand like this, it, it doesn't count at all. So right. it is it is a bit of an art in terms of, of where you're at. A thin stand, like a late planted stand, you got one tiller there, it doesn't matter, it has one leaf, you're counting it, yep, right? Exactly. So, so again, it is a little bit. So we've got our numbers now, Rob, and, and on average, we've got 18 plants per foot of row. That's right. Where the tiller counts high, so let's say it's four. There's the odd plant with only three, there's some plants with five, but let's say four tillers per plant. Yep. I, I go to seedingrate.ca, that's, that's right. That's the stand assessment calculator. Pull out Walk your phone, you it. can put right, right on your phone. You're gonna need three numbers. You're gonna need your, your, your seeding width, your row width, your uh, plants per foot of row, and your tiller count. Now remember, tiller count, you have to include that main stem. So you're counting all those, those stems, not tillers, yeah. not just tillers. So we call it tillers, and the main stem's not a tiller, but we really are counting stems per plant, not just tillers, right? That's yeah. right. So the nice thing is, it's all on your phone. We've inputted those numbers, and in this particular field, we have 144 heads per square foot. <laughs> okay, so on the yen, the most I think we've ever had is kind of 120. So obviously, we're, we're gonna cannibalize a few more tillers here than what you and I think. There, That's right. Uh, it would be wonderful if this field could tolerate 144 heads per square foot, it's not going to do it. So Rob, from that perspective, management now. Yeah. So we know we have big, what are you going to do management odds? Yeah, the good thing is now you have some numbers to base your decisions on. And I think that's the real key here. If you're a thin stand or a thick stand, you want some numbers to base those decisions on. In this particular field, 144 heads per square foot, Hopefully we can delay that end. We don't want to create any more tillers in this field. So hopefully we can delay that end until growth stage 30. <laughs> and, and nobody wants to delay end, but if you're going to, on a field like this, for goodness sakes, the first app, if you want to go early, because everybody's anxious to do something, yep. you keep that rate really low. Kind of That's right. 50, 60 pounds of nitrogen, 70 at the very most. And then I think the other part of that, Rob, is big yield potential. So we're probably, unless something goes south between now and and second application, that second application is a, a solid number, might be another 100 pounds of nitrogen, yep. get up 140, 150 pounds of nitrogen. What about a growth rate later? Yeah, exactly, that's our next decision. We know we're at high risk for lodging. I think we're at high risk for lodging in my, my, my numbers, it's, it's around the 70 plus heads per square foot. Yeah, and typically I would say 80. If you're over yeah. 80 for sure, yeah. and, and, and uh, the other thing I would say is, it depends on variety. So right. if you have a lodging right. prone variety and you're at 65, I might use a PGR. If I'm at a really strong straw variety, maybe eight. Yeah, this is Hilliard and it's actually a strong straw variety, but at 144, we are still at a huge risk for lodging. So man, I'm hoping the decision here is gonna be, let's let's consider that PGR and let's get it on at the right time. <laughs> and maybe even two PGRs <laughs> if, if it was a lodge, lodging prone variety, right? right? Like those That's kind right. of numbers. So there you have it, a really cool tool from CNM Seeds, Rob, uh, Rob actually developed it, and a way to put a little more science into the wheat crop. Have a look, get out there, do some stand counts, and come up with your best management strategy. Peter Johnson, realagriculture.com with Rob McLaughlin, CNM Seeds. Whatever you do, grow great wheat. <laughs>